From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. JC listed Growth Point Properties has launched its newly revamped landmark office property at the place at 1 Sanson Drive in Sanson Central and its own Kauteng head office, which is in the building, following completion of the refurbishment process in December. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. The new property is set to reflect the changing work environment and is designed to be conducive to the new way of working with open and accessible spaces. Growth Point South Africa CEO Estienne de Klerk expands on the property. The building itself uh, was developed uh, in uh, 2006 and 2007. We started occupying it. Uh, it's 36,000 square meters in size and is the home for many of the very uh, top A-grade clients like Bank of America and SPG and IG markets as well as Growth Point itself. Uh, the building has been refurbished uh, over the past year and uh, this year we've come back to work and uh, it's like a new butterfly that uh, has opened its wings and come out of the cocoon uh, and we've got these, this wonderful green space with uh, lots of areas uh, that, you can, that you can spill out into and uh, ultimately will improve the quality uh, of working areas for, for the clients that are in this building. The clerk outlines the rationale for Growth Point undertaking the revamp. Where the building is located, it, it has got very, very good access uh, to Rosebank, to uh, Bryanston, to the highway to Johannesburg, and then to uh, you know the, the, the other areas within Santon. So it's a very well located uh, building, and we believe that you know it it is a P grade building that with the, the right kind of interior refurb would be very attractive to the market and as a result even though the Santon market is a difficult office market at this moment we believe that you know if you have the right product for the market you will attract the tenants and it's proving to be true. The clerk expands on the process and cost of the revamp. It was completed within deadline, that deadline was uh, December this year and uh, we worked very closely. We have an internal development team. Uh, their biggest client is Growth Point Properties, but they also deliver development services for third parties. So uh, if you would like a new office building or a new hospital or a new warehouse built, you know, Growth Point can develop that for you, uh, for your own ownership. But in this specific case, you know, it was a refurbishment. So we had a project team uh, that, uh, that led to that project together with a construction firm and uh, quite a few professionals that worked on the project and it started roughly in, uh, in, in March uh, last year and then completed at the end of the year in time and in budget. To refurb this building um, and, and it was quite a complex refurb just given the fact that you know people were in occupation in the building while this happened so that brings certain complexities uh, in, in that space but we spent just over 50 odd million rand uh, in, in refurbing this building which you know also included some of the work done in our own corporate head office which, uh, which hadn't been uh, refurbished since we moved in originally in 2007. The clerk touches on the target market for the property. Generally, the kind of clients that uh, that operate uh, in Santon, you know, professional firms, financial services firms, and uh, technology companies uh, will will certainly fit into this kind of environment. It's certainly a very broad offering from the perspective that the type of space that you have here has a lot of breakout space, uh, a lot of common uh, meeting room facilities, and you know is. Uh, has the sort of image that you can with comfort bring your clients to uh, as, as, as a tenant in this building. So, you know, the, the market is, uh, is, is reasonably buoyant and certainly we're starting to see uh, tenants uh, back in the market looking for space and coming back, uh, you know, to the office. The clerk also outlines the current state of the office property market. The word office in the real estate space has been sort of muffled and spoken under the breath because everybody is uh, brutally in fear that there's a major structural change. Now we're not really seeing that on the ground to be honest and um, in markets like Durban and Cape Town we have seen uh, aggressive take up of space. So in Durban our portfolio is full short of 1,200 square meters. In Cape Town we've seen our vacancies come from over 15 percent. They've come down the, the, probably around the half year they'll just 
be just in the sort of double digit and by the end of the year they'll be in single digit territory. So those markets have come back very, very strong. In Gauteng, obviously the economy has been a bit slower and as a result the, the, the take up is a little bit slower than in those markets. They're clearly also smaller markets, right? So what we have seen in Santon specifically, the, the oversupply was quite material and exasperated through COVID. Now, what we are seeing in, uh, in, in this time is, is that a lot of the smaller tenants that left the market uh, to go and work from home, maybe their companies failed uh, or they closed their businesses, they're coming back into the market. So there's quite a lot of activity from tenants, literally, you know, two, three hundred square meters up to a thousand. And then we are starting to see a couple of bigger th clients, you know, up the largest I've heard is like 10,000 square meter client in the market at the moment looking, looking for space. So, you know, it's a very competitive market because they're in Santon specifically, there's quite a bit of oversupply still, um, you know, which is a reminiscent of the, the super cycle in, in real estate in Santon where a lot of brand new corporate head offices were built. And uh, the reality is, is that, you know, when, as we went into COVID, a lot of that backfill. So the, the spaces that were left by the tenants moving into the new buildings hit the market at the same time as we went into COVID. So that'll take a little time to work through the market. And, but we're reasonably optimistic that we think, you know, over time, uh, the Santon is a, is a very attractive place to still have your corporate head office. And, uh, you know, you're in very good company here with some of the biggest uh, corporates in South Africa. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.